We hope you like this video, and thank you for subscribing. Eligibility for PTSD-related DIC benefits Veterans of the Global War on Terror suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, at an extremely high rate. PTSD affects almost 15% of veterans who served in Iraq and Afghanistan after 2001. A study in the New York Times found that, of post-9-11 veterans, four times as many have died by suicide compared to those killed in combat. While the VA is ramping up its research into PTSD diagnosis and treatment, for the families of veterans who have already died, the situation may feel hopeless. Help is available to surviving family members through Dependency and Indemnity Compensation, or DIC. DIC benefits are generally available to a surviving spouse, or surviving children, or parents of a veteran when the veteran died in the line of duty or due to a service-connected condition. If the veteran did not die from their condition, DIC benefits are still available if the veteran was rated totally disabled at the time of death and satisfied other requirements. When filing for DIC benefits, a claimant must prove three things. The veteran had a service-connected condition. The veteran died due to that condition. And the claimant meets eligibility requirements. One issue that survivors of a veteran's suicide can run into is whether the veteran died because of PTSD or because of an intervening life event. It is unfortunate, but in some scenarios, survivors will be asked to prove the veteran died because of their illness and not because something else happened in their life. An attorney can help navigate the appeals process if you have been denied benefits or want to seek additional compensation. Schedule a free consultation with Cameron Firm PC by calling 800-861-7262 or visiting veteranappeal.com. We'll put the link in the description. That's Cameron Firm PC. You can call 24-7. Call now. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe.